it's Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. I am James Law Jr. in a cap and a t-shirt because I'm at home. It's how it's been for two years this month. At home, this is the SOS show with James Lott Jr. I am the super organizer. How are you? Welcome to the show. Um, these last two years have been very, very, very interesting for all of us organizers, for all those who want organization and for everybody in general, right? Very interesting times. Um, so I decided to come on and talk about it. I thought it's two years later, Two years ago, this last week, my world changed. LA especially shut down. I do know, I know some of my friends in, out here um, work to become essential workers. Um, and there were some criteria. And I think one of the criteria was, like a, uh, criteria was um, if you were a mover or something, I mean, they could talk more about that. But I said, okay, my doctor told me, if you get COVID, James, you'll die. So I was like, okay, got it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have some underlying conditions, and I was like, okay, got it. So I'm going to talk about that little journey for you guys and what I have learned about this. But first, I do my thanks and gratitude. And my thanks and gratitude is to everyone who, oh my God, I'm going to say, I just my eye. So everybody who has supported the show, everyone who has listened to it, who continues to listen to it, who watches this, who supports all my clients who have supported me through this strange time period of adjustment. Uh, Los Angeles, we went through a, we went through, we went through it here. We went through it here. Um, so thank you. Uh, and my family, friends, everybody who's, who's supporting this whole thing. So I am, as of March 2022, starting to organize again, physically. So I've been in business 13 years as of, oh no, sweet, sorry, 12 years. As, uh, well, 13 years, 13 years, sorry, 13 years, as of January, as of December, January. And for most of them, I was a physical organizer. I would come in and physically organize, like many of you out there. 2018, I got Bell's palsy, couldn't organize. Came back 2019, at 50 years old, still organizing. 2020 shut down. I did not organize at all after February, after March 2020. The rest of the year 2020, I did not organize. Um, I said, I will wait until the vaccines go through. And that whole year, I didn't organize. Well, the vaccines came through March, April of last year, a little before that. And I got my first one in March, second one in April. So April, I started to organize again, but very little. It was just like, it was like kind of start out slow. Then last year, I got very busy and I was busy organizing all the time. And I remember the first, first couple of weeks coming back, it was hard. I was, I, I gained weight. I didn't, I didn't exercise. I didn't do all that stuff during the pandemic. I was in my house. I had switched solely to my media work. So it means I was sitting here in front of this computer up to 15 hours a day doing content with an occasional went outside of my garden and did some gardening work. That's what I did. Then I'm organizing. I'm getting the groove. I am organizing. I am working it out. Then December 17th was the last day I have I officially organized with the client. Um, the Omicron variant happened. And in December, it started running rampant in Los Angeles, it's all Los Angeles. And people started getting it. So I was like, ooh, I, you know, I'm vaccinated and all that. I still don't want it. So I was like, okay, James, get in the house. And so it was around Christmas. So we, you know, so I said, I'll just stop right now. I'll take a break anyway. I'll just take a break anyway. I used to take a break in, in the winter time. Anyway, so I have some people for the Christmas stuff, did all that. I said, okay, first of the year, I'll come back. I just, I, I should take two months off anyway. I worked so hard. I should take 
like from November to end of January off every year. I used to do it every way. I used to go out of town. I didn't go out of town because of COVID. Then in January happens, I left the house one time and I was exposed to COVID. So I had to go home in quarantine. January and February, both those months, I left the house three separate times and was exposed to COVID. <laughs> and everybody around me got it. I'm telling you folks, every single client that I have got COVID during that time period. So if I wanted to work, I couldn't. They had COVID. Uh, my family got COVID. My brothers and sisters, my grandkids all got COVID. So I had to quarantine back in my house away from everybody because I couldn't trust it. I think I've not, I haven't gotten COVID so far, knock on wood. But that was the craziest two months. Didn't see anybody in person. Was back here at this computer just doing my thing. Not organizing. Now, this time around was a little different. I started doing organizing seminars, organizing, getting hired to do um, organizing talks online. So, you know, I have, a, I have a book out, which I thought I had it with me. I can, I can grab it, anybody with me. But I was something I was always, I was still doing organizing the show, this show, of course, during the whole pandemic. I was doing everything else organizing wise, not physical organizing. Two weeks ago, which now we're in March, it's starting to go down here in LA. And most, and a lot of my clients are starting to come back to life. So, you know, they're, they're past the COVID thing and they get back to life. So I, I've started to go out again. My mom, who needs a lot of help at her house, I said, I'm going to start with her. Because I had, or I literally have not organized since December 17th. So we're talking three months at this point, almost two months, two and a half months at this point. I did, the first one over there, I did three hours. My back went out. My side hurt. My foot, I'm so out of shape and out of, out of practice. That is not even funny. And then I did another time. I did six hours, but came home, basically died. And then last time I did two hours. That's all I could do with my back went out. So it's like, ugh. and I have some clients starting to call me. Are you back yet? Are you ready? I'm like, I, you know, so I'm having to, which I've had to do over the last 13 years of my business at various times. What I also had to do last two years, especially very heightened, is pivot and change and make decisions I've never made before. Also, at the same time, while this is kind of happening, over here in my media company, JLJ Media, it's exploded because I've been focusing full time on that. So my books, my music, my podcast, my audio jobs, I'm in a whole other world now, my hosting, it has exploded. And I'm literally almost full-time doing that. But I miss organizing. Because I do like to organize. I like being with people. I like being out and about. That's my exercise. So I do miss it. But this over here is taking a lot of my, my world is not different. Also, what I'm learning in a month and a half on Mother's Day in May, I'll be 53 years old. I am getting older. And I've talked to other organizers in their 50s and 60s, and we're all at that stage of like, how much more longer do you want to do physical organizing? How much longer can we do physical organizing? Where it's just to a point where it's just like we're hurting ourselves. So there's a lot I'm thinking about right now, swirling in my head. Meanwhile, I don't want to scare my clients who like love me and need me, and I love them and, and everything. And I'm like, and it's 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 a weird place to be for myself. I'll share with you guys, and my clients watch it, they watch it, oh well. But I'm just like, my world is now changing. The, the COVID pandemic changed my whole life. That's very, and I know other organizers who've left the business, who switched over to only virtual organizing, who, I don't know, I'm on the show, maybe on the show, told me what they've switched over to or what they're thinking because of how this has happened. 
it's almost like a reset button for some of us. It's almost like a, a button for us to way we evaluate our lives. Um, organization, I feel like will always be part of my life of some sort. I can't escape. I love it. I love this business so much. But is physical organizing still the thing I want to do? And can I do it? Um, so that's what, so I'm kind of trying to think of some things to try with, because my clients are usually pretty accommodating and wonderful, but I have to make it worth my while in terms of travel in Los Angeles, travel time, and money, and how this looks for me. So it's, it's, very, it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting for me. I, I, you know, because I love my clients. I've developed relationships with them that are very friendly and familial and, and wonderful. I mean, I, but this is a business. I, I'm very aware this is a business. But a lot of my clients are older, and so I'm very much invested um, in how they're doing and how they are and, and their feelings. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's one of those things like I've turned down some new clients just because I'm not ready yet. But also COVID, I don't know what their situation is. There's some folks who have decided, I've, this one person who came to me is not getting tested, not getting the, the, the vaccine, not doing anything. So they could have had it, not known, could get it, not know. They don't do anything. They're not wearing masks, nothing. I, I'm like, I'm not feeling comfortable. I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable. So unfortunately, I may like you personally, but my mandates are no, I got at least, if we're not gonna wear a mask, I mean, at least, I mean, come on. I mean, I just, I just can't, I can't do it. I mean, so the world just turned upside down. It's, such, it's so interesting that I'm thinking of things I never thought I'd be thinking about. Now, the age thing I probably would have thought about at some point, right, anyway, because it's coming. <laughs> the age is coming. But this other stuff, so like, so do I say, okay, I'm only going to work two hours. You guys start to start out small, which is my thing. Small stuff to large rewards. <laughs> so two hours. But I have to travel across, I have to travel across LA, which, you know, not easy. Um, and so do I charge more per hour to make it worth it for me to actually leave my house to do this? Because I'm a life coach too. And I have I have clients that I make a certain amount of money and I'm, I'm at home. There's no travel time. I don't have to, have to worry about travel time or anything. It's just through Zoom. So I'm going through that thought process. So for you out there, things like this, you have to think about all that kind of stuff. Is it worth it for the clients to have you come for two hours? Is that not enough time? They go, we got big projects. Will that not do it? Do you say I'm coming for two hours? And then if you still, if I feel good, squeeze another hour, you know, it's, it's and I, I say it's all up to you and the client. You can do whatever you want. Some folks believe pattern, uniform rules, that's it. I'm not that, I don't believe in that so much. I, I, and for me, it's kind of like, we're in this together. What do you need? Let's see, let's see if we can work something out. I'm one of those kind of people. So, I, but I'm having to think about that, going, what does this all mean for me? Um, and so it's very, very, very interesting time for the super organizer because I don't want to end the business. Not really. I like it. Right now, I can't find anybody to replace me. It's just, it's just, it's the world. It's, it's everybody. There's so many jobs out there that no one's taking. And I had a couple people who were like, I think I'll be an organizer. They petered out. They, they didn't even last. So it's like, what do you do? Um, so good help is hard to find, right? So, hey, so it's just, it's just, it's, it's, this is, you know, you know, I'm, I'm very vulnerable. I talk to you guys on the show. I'm not an industry standard show like that. I talk about industry stuff, but also I share with you real life issues of a professional organizer. And I, like I said, I love this business. It is wonderful, but I'm having to pivot and change again and try to figure out what's best for me as an organizer, what's best for my body, getting back into the swing of things, what's this being COVID wise, would it be another variant coming out? Like there's a lot of stuff that's swirling around that I will, I'll figure it all out. I always do. Like you out there, you figure it out. You take your time, you figure it out. Um, it's a very interesting, interesting time period. So I just want to share that with you. Because I know some of you may be going through the same thing or something similar. 
but I feel for you and I'm rooting for you because figure it out. It just comes to just, we got to do what's best for ourselves first. Um, and that's why I'm an entrepreneur. I don't have to do anything. This is my business. It succeeds or fails on me. And it's up to me. I mean, I mean, I don't, I mean, people get upset or mad or whatever. That's, that's their business. I mean, it's up to me to do whatever I want. So I have to look out for myself first. And that's one thing I had to learn also. What's best for James Lutcher, Super Organizer? Not what's best for his clients, what's best for you. Then when you, when you figure that out, what's best for your clients? So everybody feels good. Everybody feels safe. Everybody feels covered. Um, that's the next thing. So I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you informed. I'll keep you posted on what's going on um, and how I work some of this stuff out. Because you're my, my family. You're my organizing family. The Super Organizer show is everywhere. Audio everywhere. Video, James Live Jr. on YouTube. Um, the SOS underscore show on Twitter. The Super Organizer show on Facebook. And I will see you all next time.